Hey, what is going on, everyone? And we are back with another review. Today's review is going to be on Precision Series Sheriff from the Precision Series line in 2016. He was released a part of Wave 2 of the Precision Series singles along with Sarge and Mater, and I did review both of those earlier on on my channel. I did find this on my local Toys R Us, which was pretty surprising, so I did not get this online. I actually found it on my local Toys R Us, which is kind of surprising. I did not expect him to get anything else other than the Precision Series Ramon single, which has been clogging the pegs recently. Precision Series wise, so I was definitely happy to see this, especially since Precision Series Sheriff has been kind of rare lately. I haven't really seen many of listings for him on eBay or stuff, so it's great that I do have, and this is, of course, another addition to my Precision Series collection. And now I have a version of every single Radio Springs County in a Precision Series format, except for Lizzie. Yes, I know I've yet to review Precision Series Luigi and Guido, but I do have it. I did get it for my birthday, but I wanted to review this one before that one because I just think he's cooler in my opinion. Nonetheless, so let's go right into the overview of him in the package, and then we'll take a look at him loose, shall we? So as you guys see, we have Sheriff in white text down here, looking pretty sweet. Of course, you can see the keychain and his opening hood feature right there. We have a huge Cars Precision Series logo right there. Precision Series is in white text. It has, like, some red coloring, kind of looks like a triangle, almost sort of designed to the side right there. Cars Precision Series, Cars Precision Series. Nothing on the bottom at all to worry about on the back. You can see an Art of Sheriff looking pretty sweet, adult collector, Sheriff, and some bullet points about Sheriff, and of course it does have Raider Springs lit up at night. By the way, if you do want to read those bullet points slash information about the character Sheriff, you can pause and read that if you like. Alrighty, so I said everything I need to say, so I'm going to be right back with Precision Series Sheriff out of the package. Alrighty everyone, so I am back with Precision Series Sheriff here out of the package. He was a, a breeze to get out of the package, thankfully, because I've, like I said in my Precision Series Flow video, I do believe, I did say that some people had trouble getting specific cars from the Precision Series line out of the base, which is, of course, not a good thing at all. So, fortunately, I haven't had that problem with any of my Precision Series cars. Hopefully, I never do with some more I get down the line. I still have yet to open my Precision Series Luigi and Guido, which I showed my birthday haul video so hopefully that is not going to be my first one and hopefully none will be my first because that is obviously not a good thing but before we get off topic we're going to get right into the review of Precision Series Sheriff before we get on to Sheriff though let's just take a look at his keychain as you guys see on the keychain it shows his license plate that is shown on the back of Sheriff right there as you guys see it says 001 Carburetor County Raider Springs with a mountain logo I kind of like that logo it's a nice little drawing sort of thing up top there it says November abbreviated and it says 19 not 19 my bad 49 up there it kind of looks like a little orange ticket sort of design thing and I'm not exactly sure what this is supposed to mean maybe it's like an expiration date for his license plate I don't know too much about cars in real life I know a lot about the cars franchise but when it comes to cars real nice I'm pretty clueless so if you guys have any idea what those might be for let me know in the comment section down below my opinion is probably something for like expiration dates for the license plate to be renewed or something like that on the back right here, you have some bullet points. Some of these, I believe, are the exact same that were the ones on the back. You can see an art of Sheriff right there, and Sheriff in black text. I will read the bullet points for you guys, though. As you guys see, this is 1949 Mercury Police Cruiser, 255 cubic inch flathead police special, making 110 horsepower when new, and equipped with a 6-volt siren radio firefighting equipment. Very nice keychain for sure. I'll definitely be keeping this. So let's get on to Precision Series Sheriff now. So as you guys see, I absolutely love his expression. It gives him a lot of personality. Looks like he is smiling. You can kind of see his tongue in there as well. You can see his mustache, which is like a chrome mustache, which kind of looks cool on him. Like you can kind of see a good reflection out of his bumper and the mustache right there. You have a little hood ornament right there. The headlights look really cool. And of course, his main colors are black and white. That makes sense because those are the two main colors for a police car in real life as well you can see his white wall tires and now the fenders in the back actually cover the tires a little bit but I'm not complaining I just wanted to mention that it's supposed to be like that it was like that in the movie and I find it kind of cool how the tires are kind of hidden a little bit under the back fenders it looks kind of cool in my opinion 
On the side right here, we have Sheriff in black text with the Radiator Springs logo with a yellow background, or not really a logo, or I should say badge, maybe. And of course, his doors are white on each side. There's his siren at the top, and his siren does look translucent. And if you guys do not know what translucent means, it basically means like you kind of see through it a little bit. Unfortunately, this is not a light up sheriff. I feel like a sheriff was released from one of the buildings, which I don't really see how, because sheriff doesn't technically have his own building. Like, he always sleeps near the, like, billboard in front of Raider Springs. The closest that I could see him being released in is the courthouse, possibly. But if he was released in a set, maybe that one would have the working sirens. And I would love to have Sheriff with the working siren. And despite this one being translucent, I want to let everyone know that this is not a light-up Sheriff. The only feature is the hood, which we will get to any second. On the back right here, this is another feature, actually, which is the little antenna that did appear in the movie, unfortunately. This is not on the regular diecast, so this is definitely a huge upgrade. I love the antennas right here. They are plastic. I don't recommend, like, moving them too much, because you could break them off, and you definitely do not want that happening. You can see his taillights, the chrome bank bumper. There's the license plate that was on the keychain, as you guys see. Same stuff, 001, Carberry County, all that good stuff. Same stuff, and that, like I said, was what was on the license plate or keychain right there it says sheriff in white text mercury on the little trunk holder i'm pretty sure it's like something that you would do to open the trunk possibly so yeah sheriff is a 1947 mercury police cruiser i may have gotten the year wrong but i do know he is some sort of mercury police cruiser and of course on the bottom i love how it's colored in right here with that little like pinkish purplish sort of color i really do like that and that shows how much mattel can put effort into some of their cars sometimes you see a bunch of information on the base as well all precision series cars do use rubber tires and yeah that's pretty much it for precision series sheriff now let's get on to the hood yeah, so the hood opens up pretty easily and closes pretty easily. I really do like how the indentation around it isn't as noticeable as Precision Series Flow. If you guys remember when I did my Precision Series Flow review, the crack around the hood was pretty noticeable. This one is barely even noticeable, so I like that a lot. So let's get into this. So as you guys can see, if we zoom in, you can see some green paint and some black in the engine right there. Some wires, some engine. There also seems to be like a little gold thing on top of the green. You kind of see it right there. Maybe it's like a little cap opener. Like I said, I don't know too much about cars in the real world. So I may be sounding completely stupid right now. But anyway, as you guys see, it is pretty detailed in there. Kind of like a gray background to it as well. And if we get a little bit more closer look, you can just see how detailed it is with the black. And that little like green cap that I was talking about earlier. And you can also see like the green paint. So it's really, really cool. And I definitely recommend this Precision Series Sheriff. Because honestly, Precision Series Sheriff right here is probably one of my favorite Precision Series cars at the early. Just because of how more accurate they made it. The only main complaint I have about this Precision Series Sheriff, though, is the fact that he still doesn't have the curb feelers, which he had in the movie. I'm not really sure how to describe but There's basically, like, these little thin stick things that stick out from the side of him, like curb feelers. I don't really know how to describe them, but they are called curb feelers. And if you check the movie or something like that, he does have them on the side. Unfortunately, this is one of the things that Precision Series is lacking. That's really the only thing he needs to be completely accurate in the movie. But it's completely fine by me. Maybe they just didn't add it because he'd be too wide to fit in the single Precision Series packaging. Here he is compared with the regular Sheriff that you probably will be able to find in a store or a multi-pack, anything like that. He's a pretty easy car to get, not that much expensive on eBay. As you guys see, he is completely different. They even changed his model. As you guys see, his model is definitely a little bit different. On the back right here, they do look to be exactly the same, but on the front, they just look completely different with the expression and everything. He even looks to be a little bit more bigger. I don't know if that's just me, but I feel like he's just a little bit more taller. And this one is definitely much more accurate to the movie than this regular Sheriff, which is the thing I really, really do like about the Precision Series Sheriff. And I definitely, without a doubt, 100%, prefer the Precision Series version over the single version. And that is my question for you guys today. Which is your favorite version of Sheriff? The regular Sheriff or the Precision Series Sheriff? Let me know in the comment section down below. So let's get into the awesome diecast here with the 155 scale diecast. Me and my toe. Let's give a 360 this awesome guy. Oh. 
Alrighty everyone, so that is going to do it for my review of Persistent Series Sheriff. I gotta admit, it was really fun doing this for you guys. I know that it kind of seems a little bit plain as this is not a new release at all. It's kind of is a little old right now because it came out in late 2016. But I really did enjoy reviewing this video because this is such an amazing diecast. I've wanted this for a while and I never thought I would get it considering the fact that I haven't seen many listings for it on eBay. So thanks my Toys R Us for helping me out with this, I guess. So anyway, hope I wanted to watch and enjoy. Thank you guys so much for your creative support recently. Let me know you're reading on the diecast of Precision Series Sheriff right here. And I'll see you guys all next time in the next video. Peace out.